What's up Kit Kats? I'm Kat and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's Soriku week. In honor of it being Soriku week, I thought that it would be a fun idea to do a video talking about some of my favorite Soriku moments. I honestly really tried to narrow this down to like just five moments. It was really hard. So instead we have seven of my favorite Soriku moments throughout the games. So without further ado, let's get right on into the video. So the first Soriku moment that I want to talk about is the Kingdom Hearts 2 reunion scene. It's Riku. Riku's here. I looked for you. Come on, Sora. You've got to pull it together. I looked everywhere for you. I didn't want you to find me. And this is the moment where many of us became Soriku shippers. Going along with the Kingdom Hearts 2 theme, we have the heart to heart in the Dark Realm. What I said back there about thinking I was better at stuff than you. Mm -hmm. To tell you the truth, Sora, I was jealous of you. What for? I wished I could live life the way you do. Just following my heart. Yeah, well, I've got my share of problems too. Like what? Like wanting to be like you. Hmm. <laughs> well, there is one advantage to being me. Something you can never imitate. Really? What's that? Having you for a friend. Then I guess... I'm okay the way I am. I've got something you could never imitate, too. It's just such a tender moment, and these two friends who had been rivals finally getting their moment to sit down and talk with each other. I do still believe they have more to talk about, but... It's a start. It's just, it's really sweet. Next on my list, Obviously, I have to have Dream Drop Distance in here somewhere because Dream Drop Distance as a whole is just one giant Soriku fest, honestly. But we have the heart song. Is one sound idea not enough? Don't worry. I've got a friend out there who will help. He's always picking up the slack for me. It was amazing! What happened? Sora. Sora? <laughs> Funny. Just hearing that name kind of makes me want to smile. Yeah. That's how he is. What do you know? Riku and Sora. The sound ideas you two set free joined together. And when they did, they made a great and powerful harmony. How can you watch this moment and not ship them? I... Their heart song is dearly beloved of all things. I'm just, I'm just saying. 
their hearts come together to make it dearly beloved. And again, going along with Dream Drop Distance, Riku wakes Sora. I'll go wake Sora up. Riku! Look at his face. Sleeping like nothing's wrong. Like there's nothing to even worry about. He's always been like that. The three of us would agree to work on the raft. And then this guy would go take a nap on the beach. You see, it's my job to keep him on his toes. Besides, what kind of Keyblade Master sleeps through his test? I'm doing it for me too. Sora saved me once. And... I heard him call my name. He needs me. He uses the power of waking to go and wake Sora from his slumber. Dream Drop Distance is very much a retelling with Soriku of uh, Sleeping Beauty, which is interesting because Kingdom Hearts 1, you could definitely say, was Sleeping Beauty parallels with Sora and Kairi, but now that parallel has been given to Soriku and Dream Drop Distance. Does it mean something? I think it does. And honestly, just, just look at how Sora hugs Riku whenever like he's awake and then Riku wakes up and he's so excited. He's like, Riku, you're awake. And it's just, it's so cute. No So Riku list would be complete without the gay blade scene. Sora. <sighs> I made it! This scene honestly just speaks for itself. And next we have Riku Sacrifice. This is such an impactful moment in Kingdom Hearts 3, and like I said in my Riku is the light video, this moment is very, very important because Riku is basically doing for Sora what Sora saw the princesses do in the worlds he went to. So, true love sacrifice. <laughs> and then of course, what kind of person would I be if I didn't put Riku is the guiding light on this list? <gasps> Riku! <clears throat> Riku! Answer me! <clears throat> This is Herc's world. Is Riku here? Oh. Riku! As much as this can be seen as a theory, I fully believe 
well, let's prove in otherwise that this is what the narrative is saying. I mean, he calls the light Riku, Riku's here on Apollo sundial with sun imagery. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Riku is the light. All right, and that is my So Riku Moments list. I hope that you enjoyed me going through them. Also, since it's So Riku Week, I want to feature some really cool So Riku fan art. Roll that lovely fan art footage. I think it should be obvious, but I am a believer in Soriku Endgame. I believe with all my heart that that is the way the story is going. Obviously, you know, if I'm proven wrong, then I'm proven wrong. But there's honestly just so much evidence and... I know a lot of people believe that a certain other pairing has become canon, but as of Kingdom Hearts 3, it has not become canon. I do fully believe that uh, the story is heading in a very Sariku direction, even if at the end it turns out to be, and they were roommates. I think it's a very valid interpretation. People really need to stop being mean to uh, people that have this interpretation because people are jerks about it and stay in your lane, honestly. Anyways, that is my video for this week. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please give it a like and don't forget to comment down below and tell me your favorite Soriku moments. And if you are not subscribed but you would like to be, you can hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell to be notified every single time I make a video. May your heart be your guiding key. And until next time, I will catch you later. Bye meow!